Hey, what's up everyone? I'm Praetorian and welcome back to Hearts of Iron 4 as we are playing as Germany. Alright, so went ahead and took care of a lot of stuff off camera. One thing I want to go ahead and get do before I forget is we are not going to dismantle the Magna Lime. Because it has bonuses, but it also has negatives. It removes all the forts there and frankly there's really no reason for that because I'm going to take control of this when the peace treaty happens. Alsace Lorraine is rightfully ours. Uh, so why not have fortifications there on the French border, uh, if that's what we end up doing. Taking that and then, like, having a French puppet or something, I don't know. Uh, what we'll do exactly, but yeah, I know that we're going to keep this, so might as well keep the fortifications there. It makes sense. Um, we can always make use of them. So, uh, now that we're, we're done with that, um, one thing I would like to do is I want to do... What's this one do? Okay, that's a crappy one. Uh, I want to do the anti-communist raids, because communist support is still incredibly high in our country right now. Uh, it's still a bit concerning. Uh, taking a look here, uh, we're at 21% right now, so it's pretty bad, guys. So let's go ahead and get started. I went ahead and moved all our troops. Uh, we are using, I found some more divisions sitting over here as well. There's 14 divisions for Austria Hungary we didn't get assigned. Uh, so they're going to go ahead and garrison all this, and they're not going to just garrison uh, for uh, attempting to lower resistance. We're also going to have them cover the naval bases as well. I think that would be helpful. Um, and some reason, our, our red troops are in the seas like a bunch of dumbasses. Um, so I went ahead and did the Air Force guys. That was kind of the main focus. Uh, we're going to go ahead and prioritize more ground crews there. Uh, and we should probably prioritize somewhere else as well. Let's see. I'm not sure where the, the key area is. Uh, you know what? We won't. It's fine. We are going to prioritize right there. Uh, and as you can see, I did uh, send a ton of planes there. We're using all our close air support for naval strikes, guys. They're not bad at it at all. Uh, so that's where how we've gotten so many uh, planes. I also... Uh, put all of our fighters to do air superiority, so hopefully we'll start losing less planes out there and maybe shooting down more of theirs because we've been losing a ton of planes, guys. It's been really, really bad. Uh, so you can see we now have uh, somebody located in every single area here. And I would like to prioritize a little bit more in the Mediterranean, so let's go and assign a few more air wings. I didn't really think about this, but yeah, we need to prioritize just a bit more. Uh, also, I got rid of a few of the naval bombers, so it says 60, but there's a few more that are going to, they'll, they'll restaff that just a little bit. Uh, so let's just go ahead and have some more, although I don't think we can go here. No, that one's all filled up. All right. Um, I think we actually already assigned, yeah, uh, we actually have some assigned here, if I'm not mistaken. Because, uh, yeah, we have currently, let's see here, yeah, one of these guys is assigned, okay, I'm not entirely sure who's assigned where anymore. Um... Okay, so they're assigned there. What about these guys? Where are they assigned? Let's go ahead and do one more air wing of close air support here uh, to try and help destroy the fleets here. Uh, oops. Naval strike. Excellent. Uh, we're also going to put another one here if we haven't already. Yeah, let's go ahead and do one more here because uh, I think that would be a good idea. And since we have the numbers, try and get this. Uh, oops. I, I see close air support. I might automatically want to assign them to that task. All right. So that should be helpful. Let's go ahead and get started, guys. Uh, so, yeah, really, now we need to win the air and naval war. Uh, that's going to be the, the main focus here, is trying, and Denmark just joined the Allies. Okay, so that's interesting. Very unexpected. I didn't see that coming. All right, how are we going to do this? Who, who are we going to send there? Let's just send the uh, Blue Army. Do they have fortifications here? They do not. All right, let's just send the Blue Army. They'll be able to take care of it very rapidly. They are quite good at it. We're moving the Red Army over here, by the way, to take out those divisions. Uh, so let's go ahead. Give them the front. You know that they're going to be getting in this war soon. I could send the closer army, the purple army, I suppose. Uh, but let's just send the, the blue army. They'll be able to get it done quicker. Uh, and they did just call them into the war. All right, well, that's fine. Whatever. They can come take some territory. I don't care. Um, what we'll do... Um, yeah, I think we're going to have to have these guys move over here for right now. Just make sure that they can't attack... Uh, can't take any more provinces without having to fight for them. While we wait for the blue army to get their asses over here, Take them a little bit of time. Uh, let's go and put the tanks here. Uh, and I don't actually want you guys to be attacking. Just defend. All right, there we go. That should keep it uh, keep it held for a little while. Let's take a look see what happened over here. Uh, just like some convoys. There we go. Uh, eight French destroyers, two heavy cruisers, and a light cruiser. And at the cost of five submarines and a light cruiser. That's not bad at all. Okay, so yeah, we are on speed five. We probably shouldn't be because we're in conflict. Uh, so let's just turn that down a bit. And yeah, we're, we're starting to get some ships sunk. Okay. Yeah, that is great. That's what I want to see. I want to see this uh, Allied fleet get destroyed. Because I would really like to do a naval invasion of the Brits. I don't want to have to try and resort to try and get air superiority because that never goes well. Uh, do we have... We still don't have control. Even with all those planes that we pumped over here. 
because they have an insane number of fighters. 4,290 fighters. Holy shit. Good god. Alright. We're going to have to sign more fighters, clearly. Alright, I wanted to wait because I wanted to see how much room we were going to have here. So I think it was good that we waited. Let's just go ahead and get some more. We don't have a ton of, of fighters left. Okay. Let's get these guys going. See if we can't gain control of the skies here. Uh, I think we're going to have a lot of trouble with it, though, honestly. Uh, I don't think it's going to go as well as we would like. Uh, we also have more close air support we can get assigned. Let's do another air wing of fighters here. Oh, come on. Go over there. All right, so hopefully we can get control here. Uh, and I think what we'll do, if we have the room anywhere, this one's actually overstaffed. Well, that's a goddamn shame. Uh, let's just assign... Are all of them in the English channel? Okay, we did send too many over here for the English channel. All right, well, let's just change this up a little bit. We'll take um, a few of them and move them over here. Uh, we also have a bit of room here, so let's get one more air ring of close air support to try and uh, bomb them even further. There we go. Oops, God damn it. There we go. So, do we need planes here? I don't really feel like we do. I think the... I think these guys should be able to handle it, per, handle it pretty quickly. I know the British are going to start pumping troops over here. Uh, do we have... Hold up. Before we do anything else. Uh, do we have any aces that need to get assigned? No, it doesn't look like it. All right. Thought it was worth checking, though. All right. So, uh, we're currently attacking here. Let's just go and attack with... Uh, let's get all these guys attacking over this way. I'd, I'd prefer to cut them off. So let's uh, attack there first. Try and cut these troops off so they don't have to fight them all the way across. Uh, and you guys could just stop attacking. I don't even want you to attack there. All right. Yeah, this is going to go well, I think. Come on. Keep on attacking. The tanks are going to keep on attacking across that goddamn river because I feel like they have to go over there. Uh, we did get a naval battle over here. Happened um, somewhere. There we go. Another uh, Italian destroyer was sunk. Well, that sucks. All right. I'm very concerned about the... Uh, we're gonna we're gonna definitely pay close attention to the the naval war guys because it's it's a big focus here. We've got to get control of the seas, and I don't want to put my my ships out there just yet. Not until we just sink a few more British ships. They just they're they're too large. Uh, their navy is just way too large at this moment. Um, I don't even want you guys attacking. Just go over there. Stop it. Oh, there's no troops there. Oh damn. All right, so we need to get here quickly. Try and get control of all this area here. We know the British are gonna pump some some troops over here pretty soon. Um, okay, so it looks like we won, but then we didn't continue. Oh, good God. Come on. <laughs> Go, guys. Get her done. All right, so we should have control of it soon. If they actually move across there this time. Uh, another na important naval battle here. Let's take a look see what happened. Um, okay, there we go. Uh, Italians lost a submarine and a light cruiser, uh, while the French lost two destroyers, heavy cruiser, and three submarines. Not bad. Not bad at all. Let's just take a look at... How the French fleet is looking, 76 to 79 ships. Italians probably a lot worse, 55 ships. British, 195 to 227. So we're getting a tick down, guys. Uh, we're sinking destroyers out throughout here. Yeah, three destroyers there. Three destroyers and a submarine. Yeah, we're really getting that. Uh, the, the, the smaller ships are, are getting sunk. Well, there's a heavy cruiser. All right, two destroyers there. Okay, looking good. Oh, seven destroyers and a submarine. All right, that's how we're going to win this, guys. Just slowly get all their screens sunk. And, uh... Yeah, then we'll be able to start targeting those capital capital ships. God damn it, stop attacking them. <laughs> he just won't stop. I'm going to have to make him go all the way across here to get rid of him. All right, so we are here. Uh, and what we're going to do... Who dares win? All right, now we're going to go ahead and attack. Um, let's have one light tank division just lock these guys down so they can't leave. Uh, let's have uh, a few of you guys attack over this way. Attack. Also a light tank. And then we're just going to spread out the love, guys. We're going to have, like, uh, a couple light tanks here. Go that way with uh, a medium tank. And then have the rest go this way. If I can get this tank selected. There we go. All right. Attack, men. Attack. All right. So got those guys cut off. Excellent news. Let's go ahead and continue attacking. We need to get a new front here. Uh, and everybody needs to be assigned to this. Um, these guys, anyway. Get assigned to it. Uh, all you guys. In fact, all of you guys. Yeah, just get over here. Alright, we're going to send one tank division over there. Get them destroyed. Let's go this way. Uh, and you guys here. Uh, I'm just going to... I don't think they need a front. Let's have them just go... All the way across here. 
There we go. All right, looking good. Should be able to get that wrapped up soon. And I'm hoping that that'll be enough tanks for their current task. We'll just have to see if they can get it done or not. Uh, and let's go ahead and attack. Have him go that way. Uh, he can go with him, I suppose. And let's have two go that way and two go that way. And just so we get more troops. Obviously, we're going to get a few more here soon. Uh, we'll have one of these guys each go that way. All right, looking good. Um, Tempted to win here and not having a lot of success. I think we're going to need to get a front here. So let's go ahead and do that. And I'm just going to get him assigned. And I will move a few more divisions over there because it's not going to be enough. Let's do a light tank. All right, so hopefully that'll be enough to get the job done over there. Let's go ahead and have these guys all move. Attack. All right, so just uh, getting this wrapped up. Somebody was actually bringing up Denmark in the um, in the comments the last episode, kind of concerned about what was going to happen here uh, with Denmark. Well, looks like we didn't really have a choice of what happened. Uh, so we can go ahead and get the Atlantic Wall here. It's going to build coastal forts uh, all across France, which will be really useful uh, because you know they're going to be attacking us there consistently. Uh, we could get annexation war goal against Luxembourg. so We can knock them out, uh, that little spot there. Uh, and we can do that as well if we do that. All right, well, first thing I think we should do is get those fortifications, because that'll be immediately beneficial. Yeah, let's do that. That actually is not just in France. That's all across our terrain, so that'll be super useful. How much How much does it give you? Um, all right, so we can build coastal forts quicker. Place coastal forts in each of the following ones. All right, didn't say how high. You get another destroyer sunk. A couple more. These are uh, Canadians. Okay, yeah, they brought their fleet over here. Just one more reason why we have got to use the Air Force uh, to get some naval victories first before we're going to be able to do anything here. Uh, we just, uh, I think our fleet will get destroyed if we brought them, brought them over there. I know our fleet would get destroyed, actually. We are destroying some convoys throughout this region, though. Okay. All right, let's see how things have gone. Uh, let's go and attack all these troops here. Should be able to get a win there. Uh, and let's attack these guys as well. All right, let's just push them out of here. We gotta get control of that port before any of the Brits land here. Uh, and it looks like we had another big naval battle here. So let's take a look at what happened. Oh, this did not go in our favor. Uh, 12 Italian destroyers, four submarines, and one heavy cruiser. Uh, just for a light cruiser and, and a destroyer. That's, that's really bad. Damn. All right, so the Italian fleet is just about done. They have 50 ships left. Yeah, there's really not much left of their fleet, unfortunately, to get a destroyer sunk there. Uh, we're gonna continue taking a look at the French and British fleets as well, because I'm curious. 72 to 75 ships, uh, 198 to 234 ships. Uh, we got dockyards too to get assigned and some military factories, so we'll go ahead and take care of that. Uh, I feel like we don't need as many going to convoys now. So let's pull that back and let's really start pumping into our, our fleets here, guys. Uh, we're gonna want to get more carriers, we're gonna want to get more battleships, and we're gonna wanna get more battle cruisers. Let's go and go full on with the battleships. Let's go uh, up to there with the uh, carriers and then up to there with the battle cruisers. Okay, that looks good. Um, obviously, we're going to need a, a ton of resources here. Let's get the uh, military factories assigned first. Naval bombers, man. Naval bombers. That's where it's at right now. Oh, nice. I didn't realize that we had all that aluminum that we don't need to trade for any longer because we got that from France, the conquest of France. Well, that's good. And it doesn't really fix the situation here where we're lacking a lot of stuff. Uh, and I just hate that we have to trade so much with, with Russia because uh, you know that they're going to end up rebelling on us if we keep trading like this. And I guess we're going to have to trade with the Dutch East Indies. I didn't want to trade with them either, but you know, there's really no other uh, way to do this at the moment. Um, not getting shit from Portugal or from Sweden. Good God, man. All right. You know what? Let's just leave it as is for right now. Maybe things will improve as we sink their fleet. I don't know. Probably not, though. They're going to continue sinking our, our fleets. Well, we can't kick them out of here, which will mean we'll be able to trade with Sweden at the very least without any problems. All right. So everybody's attacking over this way, trying to get this wrapped up. Uh, nice. Got that improved. Let's go ahead and go with uh, night vision. Yeah, let's do night vision next. Let's grab that up. And... Here we go. All right, let's go in and get these guys knocking this out. Let's take that crappy one. He can, he's got low organization. We'll have him go that way. Let's have these come over here. I don't know if they'll be able to win or not. Might need to wait till we get these troops here. Uh, yeah, once they get here, I think they should be able to handle it up. There we go. Excellent. And you guys can attack over this way as well. Try and get that finished for me. Uh, and yeah, I think that's it. Then we'll be done with Denmark. Let's go and attack. 
Doesn't look like they're gonna win, but we're soon to get all of our divisions over there. And we'll send them there as soon as they get there. Everybody attack. Let's get these guys finished up. I know that this is overkill. Absolute overkill, but it's fine. Denmark has capitulated. Excellent news. Uh, we got all our shit. Uh, and I think that's it. Yeah. All right, let's go and move our army back. We do need to assign that orange army to cover Denmark now. Uh, let's move these guys back to Paris, where they're at. Defend against, to defend against any naval invasions, we're going to fight over here as well now. Now I can concentrate on that. But first, before we do anything else, let's go and get the garrison covering this region here. All right, excellent. All right, so they'll cover all that for us. As uh, far as military factories go, we have one that needs to be assigned, so really not much. I do want to take a look at the situation here. Once we get some political power, we're going to have to change our manpower laws, by the way, guys, because we can't can't build anything at the moment. Still, naval bombers are a problem, uh, So, and we need medium tanks as well. Let's do medium tanks first, and then we'll do uh, the uh, bombers. Good God, the oil situation, guys. All right, so let's trade for Russia, so oil. Um, yeah, there's really not. I guess we can trade with Austria-Hungary. Trade with them. Uh, we need to take a look at where, how far until they they uh, uh, until they free themselves. And yeah, I think we're just gonna have to leave these as is for right now. Uh, so I want to take a look and see how we're doing here. Uh, so Russia's 200 points. We need to keep them down. Um, Latvia, obviously, not worried about them at all. All right, I think they're okay. We'll just have to keep an eye on them. Make sure they don't get that too high. Suck some more destroyers over here. All right, so let's go and wrap them up over here. We've been just sitting here for a while, but they've been getting planning bonuses, so that's good as well. Uh, let's go ahead and have our troops attack. Everybody attack. Here too. There we go. And ace pod promoted. Excellent. Let's go and have... We'll just spread the love out here. You guys go that way. You guys go that way. And you go that way. And both go that way. All right, excellent. So we should be able to get them pushed uh, out of France for good. I'm not going to let them come back. And there we go. Get it wiped out. Iceland takes control of foreign affairs. So we've seen this before. This event happened, I think, in the Soviet Union one, perhaps? I'm not entirely sure. Um, so yeah, we've seen this event. Whenever uh, Denmark capitulates, it seems to happen. Got two light cruisers there sunk. Another light cruiser there. All right, we're starting to get bigger ships. Light cruisers better than destroyers and submarines. That's progress. All right, so we're about to get control. There we go. Excellent. Um, we'll probably just keep these guys down here in the south, I think. Right now, I don't really have anything for our troops to do at the moment. There's nowhere to fight. Uh, we could send them to Africa, uh, like some people were saying. I just don't care. I, I do not care at all. <laughs> like, I know that we could uh, completely take kick them out of Africa, from the, of the Mediterranean, excuse me, uh, by taking those two um, canals there, uh, or straits, whatever you want to call them, ace by promoted. Uh, we could do that. I just don't care enough. Uh, honestly, I just want to, I just want to invade Britain. Uh, that's kind of the way I want to do this. Just focus on invading Britain. You know, if we bring troops down there, you know, obviously we take manpower losses. Uh, and then on top of that, we have to give them planes, you know, to fight down here. I'm sure there's going to be some troops defending, probably will be a lot. And then you can't just take this. Then you got to defend, you know, from them coming up from the south and taking it back over. And I just don't want to do any of that. Uh, I'd prefer to just, just focus on the battle of Britain. Uh, do the way Germany should have done. Uh, stop getting distracted other places. And, uh... Get Britain knocked out of the conflict. That's the way I want to do this. Uh, so we still haven't gotten control of the canal or the channel. Excuse me. Uh, having a lot of trouble there. They're also bombing us here. Yeah, I bet they're bombing us pretty heavily there. So we're probably going to get some planes assigned there. Uh, and it seems we have some issues here. Okay, what's going on? Um, the fighters are currently from over here. What happened there? Why? Are, why do we have all these fucking fighters here? Did they get kicked out of there briefly or something? I don't know. Uh, that's weird though. Let's go and play. Anybody who's currently um, here, put them over there. I don't know what they're doing. All right, so go back over there. And it seems we're also staffed up here, but that's only by 10. But we still want to avoid it if possible. Let me just see here. Um, so we currently have 1210. Where could we move them where they wouldn't cause any problems? Let's put them over here. All right, excellent. So we need to put some uh, fighters here now. So let's get just a few here. Uh, one air wing, I think. Damn, we're actually out of fighters now. Oh, Lord. Yeah, we're out of fighters. Okay. Because um, we're probably losing a ton right there. Yeah, I bet we're losing a, an insane number of fighters right there. Okay, what could we do here? I guess we're going to have to assign like a crappy air wing of fighters. 
Yeah. Got no other options here. All right, so that's 200. And... No, no, no. Interception. There we go. You can do it. I believe in you. <laughs> All right. So, uh, yeah, just trying to get the uh, British Navy, Navy sunk here. We're going to take, continue take, uh, taking a look at all the battles, seeing uh, where we're at here. There we go. Uh, seven British submarines, a light cruiser, two heavy cruisers, a uh, ton of destroyers, a battleship, uh, and the Italian Navy has been sunk. All right. So, you know, it's a loss because the Italian fleet was sunk. But at the same time, we did sink a large number of British uh, ships, including some capital ships. So it's a win in my column. We didn't lose any of our, our planes, or I mean our uh, ships, so yeah, it's a win. Another uh, British submarine sunk there. Destroyer, all right, light cruiser. Yeah, this is looking good. There's no way they can continue building their fleet up at the same rate as we can uh, at the number with the number of uh, ships they're currently losing. Uh, they have 35 to 44 dockyards. We have 55 dockyards in comparison. Uh, so yeah, I think, I think eventually we're gonna get our fleet larger than theirs. Uh, we currently have an all right fleet. This is not bad, guys. It's, it could be better, of course. Um, but yeah, it's not terrible. All right, so what happened over here? Uh, it looks like they are launching naval invasions. Not surprising. We have plenty of troops to defend against them, so I'm not really worried about it. Though, they're going to take that from us. Well, that's a damn shame. Yeah, they're going to take that. There's no way I can stop that. God damn it. That's our only colony. It's devastating to our prestige. Yeah, we lost it. Shit. Well, there was no protecting it, guys. I mean, I could have uh, sent troops over there before the war had started. Um, but obviously, the main focus is, of course, here uh, in Europe. Uh, so we got a heavy cruiser and two destroyers sunk. I keep forgetting the French still have a fleet. Yeah, they have 67 to 71 ships, so we still got to get all those sunk as well. Uh, uh, psh, there's more key uh, Italian ships. Yeah, it's a damn shame. All right, let's just take a look across here and see if we got any more uh, large capital ships sunk. Got a destroyer. Oh, that's an Italian destroyer. Never mind. Nothing exciting. And heavy cruiser. Okay. Uh, I guess we're going to go to speed five since really we're just working on uh, the Air Force and and uh, trying to get these guys sunk. We do have our... Excellent. These guys are done. Oh, that's great news. Uh, so let's go ahead and... What the, the fuck are all these guys? All right. So these guys are down here. They need a... Uh, we'll put them down here. Um, right. And... These guys are here. We could put them into, yeah, we'll put them into that one. That makes sense. Uh, we have those guys here, and then we have these guys here. All right, so let's go ahead and give them, uh, well, I also give them this one. It reminds me of the sun. It makes me think of paratroopers, I guess. Uh, so we'll give them that, and give them this color here. And we'll give them a commander later. It's not really important at the moment. I'm not gonna use them just yet. Oops, I did not mean to turn the night day on. No, oh, did not mean to do that at all. We'll just bring them over here for right now. All right, so I said, oh yes, we got a battle cruiser sunk. Excellent. So I said we're gonna go to speed five, and we are. Uh, it's really just a, a waiting game right now, as we uh, wait to get the the British fleet sunk. You absolutely can do this with uh, only with naval bombers. I have done it many campaigns in the past. I've destroyed the entire Allied navy with just naval bombers. Um, so that's what we're doing in this time. Uh, the AI will continue throw to throw their planes out there or throw their uh, ships out there and let you sink them. Uh, and it's, it's devastating to them. Uh, sure, you lose planes doing it, but yeah, I'll take planes uh, being lost any day of the week for these ships. These ships take forever to build, uh, so it's, it's definitely a big win for us. Uh, let me just see if we... And we got construction done. Excellent. Uh, let's go and get excavation. We can use that. Uh, speaking of resources, let's take a look at the situation when it comes to resources. All right, so things got a little bit better over here. Uh, what we need to do... We're not really getting anything from Japan. So let's just tick that back and instead trade with Austria-Hungary for our oil needs. Uh, rubber. We can stop trading with Dutch East Indies a little bit. Pull that back. Uh, tungsten's still a problem. Also, somebody else noticed um, another tungsten spot. And so there's three uh, in this area. Okay, that's a little bit. Can we? Yeah, we can get a couple from it. There's got to be another area. I could have swore there was one more. 31. Yeah, there was one more. Somebody noticed. I don't know where the hell is that, though. I hope it wasn't that one, because that's not ours. Yeah, that might have been what they noticed. All right, yeah, because that one's definitely not ours. All right, so that doesn't really help us. I mean, we could build up in, in Russia's lands, I suppose. Um, but yeah, it's not really that important. Yeah, we'll go ahead and get the oil there. 
we're going to continue to, and we're currently just repairing right now, so I think it'd be good to, to go through here anyway and take a look at where we can get some resources. Uh, no, those are being provided by refineries, so that doesn't help us much. Go ahead and build up there. Yeah, I think all this is going to be refineries. Uh, we'll build up an Alsace Lorraine for that steel, and because that's going to be ours eventually, uh, of course, it's really all right. Our rates are already ours, in my opinion. Uh, that's not worth it at all. Okay, any other high resource locations? There we go. We'll get the aluminum there. Because uh, we were trade for aluminum a while ago. I don't know if we still need it. Um, same with steel. That's another one I'm not sure if we actually need or not. But we'll continue building them anyway. And it does make them, you know, cheaper to build in. So it's useful. Uh, any other high resource locations that we currently own? Oh, yes. Get some nice oil right there. I didn't even see that. All right. So, yeah, we should have built there a while ago. All right. Um... All right, that's good, I think. Let's go ahead and tick all this crap down to the bottom. Um, you know what? We're just going to tick some of this. Tick some of this to the bottom here. Because I would like to re get all these repaired. I think that'd be useful. And almost there, guys. All right, that looks good. And in fact, I, I just realized we need to get radar stations across here. This would be super useful, uh, getting radar stations to help us out in these areas. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's build uh, radar stations in Brittany. Let's build one over here as well. And let's get one in Normandy too. Uh, so we'll get those there. Um, get one going right there. And then let's build them across this area here. We'll get them just right there. That's fine. All right, that looks, looks good, guys. Okay, so we've got our... Oh, fuck. Frack. Right, we need to get these ticked down now. Just all of them. There we go. So we get the uh, radar stations building. All right. That looks good. Should keep our guys busy for a little while. Let's go ahead and continue letting this play as we sink the Allied fleet. I really, really hope that the Americans don't get involved, guys. Ugh, that's... I just want... I just want to be able to, like, invade Britain defeat Britain, and then be done with it, honestly. Uh, that's how I feel. I really don't want to have to go fight in America if we don't have to. We've already done it a million times. We are losing a ton of planes, but we have seized air superiority, finally. Um, finally did it, guys. So that's awesome news. You know what we need to do? We need to build, and I just thought about this. Since they are bombing over here, we should probably get ourselves some uh, AA guns. That would be really, really smart. Because uh, it, only, it only works if they're uh, actually bombing the area. But yeah, let's go ahead and get all these ticked up, because you know they're going to bomb all the way across here. I don't know if they're bombing here yet. Uh, we'll build them all across here. I think that'll be useful. And is there anything else I need to, to do? Oh, we need to tick these. Tick these down. Again. Let's get all this ticked down. Here we go. That's looking good. All right. Um, but yeah, I really don't want to invade America. I mean, it's not because they're difficult. Like, once you get onto the continent once you get on their land they're actually pretty easy to defeat we rarely ever have any difficulty once we're on there with the exception as if you're, you're attacking from alaska then that can be kind of rough sometimes um but yeah it's it's really not all that challenging to defeat them uh it's the only challenge is to get onto their land uh, that's a bitch all right so we have some more doctrine uh bonuses here but i think we actually have doctrine bonuses we need to start getting those uh get that so we can get this um but let me see we're gonna get the iberian problem so we can attack iberia which i don't really care that much about i mean i suppose we can attack spain just to give ourselves something to do that's an option hmm yeah actually i'm kind of digging that idea attacking spain because i mean let's be honest they're communist and they're right next to us and we currently are in france so and it'll give us something to do, because we currently don't have anything to do. Uh, and I, I'm worried about uh, the Air Force, because we're not going to be able to devote any planes to over there. Yeah, I don't see how we're going to be able to devote to any planes over there uh, at this moment. I just don't see it, guys. But yeah, I think it'd be fun. Uh, it'd give us something to do. And maybe we'll devote, devote just enough, because they don't ha really have a ton of planes. Um, and it'll give us a avenue to fight the, the Brits and... If the French have any troops left as well, because you know they're going to pump troops over here. And we can take take control of Gibraltar eventually. And we can get direct access to Portugal so that we can get their uh, resources that we're trading with them. And they don't have to go through the sea. Okay, yeah, that would be very beneficial. So let's go ahead and do that. Uh, we want to get the national focus. But before we do that, I want to make sure we get everything. Uh, like, I really want to get that one. Uh, I think that would be helpful. So we'll probably go for that first. 
And then as far as the plain one, let me just take a look at where we're at on that one. We already have bonuses right now, so there's no reason to rush towards getting more bonuses that we're not even using just yet. And I think that's it, right? Oh, well, there's rocketry, of course, and that gives you the bonus for nuclear technology. We're going to want to eventually get that. Uh, but let's do this first. Let's do this one. It's only 28 days, too. That's a very quick one. Lovely. Um, so we're going to get that, and then we're going to want to go ahead and put some troops down there. Who are we going to attack with? Well, going to the mountains with the, the Blue Army probably wouldn't work out that well. Um, no, probably not at all. Uh, who do we have here? We have Rommel. Okay. We'll probably bring Rommel over there. And, we're, you know, we're going to obviously need more than one army. Uh, we can also bring the... Who's leading the purple army? Yeah, let's bring, let's bring Paul Von Leto Vorbeck in there. Hell yeah. All right, that's what we're going to do. We're going to bring these two, and we're going to give him the mountain troops uh, that we have just sitting here. Uh, we'll put him into, hit, put these guys into that purple army. Yes, that's fine that they're getting rid of them. And then we'll, well, I should have put these infantry over there uh, into that other army since we're going to have to create a new army any damn way. Uh, so let's go and take these guys, put them into their own army here. And they can go to the capital. Uh, are any of these troops done training? There are some troops that are done. Excellent. Well, let's go ahead and put some of these into uh, that purple army because they don't really have a lot. Well, let me see what Rommel has first before we... All right, he has eight light, four medium. Okay, I want to give him one of the mediums that are done training to Rommel. Uh, and we'll just take... Oh, how many... Okay, he has a lot of infantry. Let's just take one of his infantry troops. And eh, he can actually go into that army because he needs to be trained. All right. Fantastic, and we're going to take a few of these light tanks and put them over into this army. How many does he have? He only has two. Okay, yeah, let's go and give some, him a few light tanks then. We'll give him all these light tanks. In fact, we're just completely redoing his army because uh, he has a lot of infantry divisions right now. How many does he have extra? Three. All right, let's go and take three of them. Place them into that army there. All right, looking good. Um, so let's go ahead and get these armies assigned down here. Uh, and I think the way we're going to do this is let's have him be on this side. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So they're each going to have eight. Eight provinces. So he'll be over here. We'll have him move this way. And then Rommel is going to be over here because it's a little bit easier terrain for his army. Let's go ahead and have him slide across here. And he's going to go this way. All right, so get on the border, guys. Get over there and get the job done, please. I believe in you. Uh, and we'll bring the yellow army down there, just in case they're needed. Uh, we'll bring them over there. I don't want to pump too many troops over there, and in fact, some of these troops actually need to get trained up. Okay, so we're going to do that now. They took a little bit of casualties, probably attacking those fortifications that they attacked. So, yeah, that makes sense. Uh, let's go ahead and have Manstein get down here. Uh, I'm going to take a look, see if anybody else needs training. I don't think anybody does, but we'll double check just in case. Yeah, I think everybody's good to go. Yep, everybody's looking pretty fantastic right now. All right, let's go ahead and uh, just continue, and uh, hopefully we can get this get this done. Oops, didn't mean to click on that. I'm trying to see who I sunk here. God damn it. Yeah, I'm just clicking on everything but what I want to. Got some more destroyers sunk there. All right. We're slowly but surely getting it done. Getting a lot of ace points as well. Uh, let's take a look at France. Uh, France, 44 to 45 ships. Half of what they had before. And look at that. 143 to 189. Taking a look at ourselves, we have 65 ships. Still uh, still not there yet, guys. Uh, obviously, we're going to need to reorganize the fleets and stuff. Eventually, we have more carriers than we're going to want in a fleet. We only want four in a fleet at a time. But slowly getting this done. It's taking forever. Oh yes, that was good. That was very good right there. It's taking a long time, but we're getting it done uh, because we can completely control uh, the English Channel right now. They don't have, yeah, they hardly have any planes over here. All right, well, that's very good news. How are we doing on our plane stockpiles? All right, we're short on fighters. We're short on close air support. Uh, we do have naval bombers though, so there's that. Okay, so what we're gonna wanna do is let's get, um, we're gonna disband a couple uh, close air support air wings, I think. Yeah, let's do that. Um, just right here. Let's get rid of just a couple of these. Um, we'll do two. Get rid of two of them. Disband them. And then do a air wing of naval bombers now that we have the numbers. Now that they're not taking as, as high as casualties. There we go. Excellent. And what do we have decisions available here? Uh, we can ban communism again. Let's just take a look at where we're currently at. We're at 19% as of right now. Okay. Uh, still pretty high. So, yeah, let's go ahead and just ban this shit. 
Um, that's gonna, yeah, completely get rid of it. It will reduce stability substantially. Um, that's okay. That's fine. Yeah, let's just do that. We can't have communism here in our country. We are against it. Uh, anything else we need to do here? No, we're good to go. Uh, I know I needed to change the manpower laws. I probably should have done that first, but whatever. Too late now. Uh, we did get battle fleet concentration. Excellent. We're going to continue uh, building up, although I really think we need to start moving down the air doctrines because that's what's... Yeah, you know what? Let's do air doctrines first. That makes far more sense. We're not even using our navy at the moment. Let's go air superiority, mission efficiency. That's going to be 42 days, plus we have bonuses for that too, so that's another reason why we should start moving down there. Uh, and we got our national focus completed. Excellent. Uh, let's go ahead and do this one. Is it... It's a full 70 days. That's okay. We're going to get complete control of that. That'll be ours, uh, which we knew we were gonna eventually have. Uh, all these guys are done training. Awesome. That's fantastic news. Okay, so what I want to do here, let's just take a look. Um, how many medium tanks does Rommel have? He has five. Okay, that's that's all right, I suppose. I think that'll work, because he currently has, yeah, 11 infantry. I think that's fine. Uh, let's go ahead and get one of these guys assigned to here, and we'll just take, currently has five of those, and two medium. So let's take one of his divisions and throw them over here for right now. Okay. Uh, and then the other troops. Um, see, where do we want to get these assigned to? Uh, I feel like we don't quite have... You know what? We could actually move medium tank into this blue army. Come on over here. And this light tank. One of these light tanks. This is just going to be some, some management with our armies right now. Uh, he'll go over... Oops. Over here. Excuse me. And it seems that we need more troops over there. Uh, let's go ahead and give them some medium tanks. Man side, because he does not have any. So let's go and give him however many troops he needs to fill out here. He needs quite a few. Alright, so they're going to go over there. And then the last infantry troops here, what we're going to do is we're just going to keep one of them here. And then the rest of them are going to go into that army that we're kind of building over here. Uh, it doesn't really have much of a use. In fact, I believe I just put them all in the wrong spots. Yeah, I think I did. Damn it. God damn it, Barbie. Oh, fuck. Alright, so I think all these guys here are supposed to be in this army, in fact. Yes. Everybody come on over here. Still defending here. Uh, I don't see any reason... Well, we're actually taking attrition here. Alright, well that's not good. Yeah, that's not good at all. I, I think we were going to go ahead and pull out of here. Yeah, let's just pull out, guys. Um, let's just delete these fronts. Yeah, this is... I'm not going to sit here and just take attrition, especially when we're not going to attack, and I have no intentions of attacking into the British Raj. I just don't care enough. Like I said, I don't really want to fight in Asia or Africa. It's kind of my goal to just, like, uh... <laughs> to just basically uh, stay here in Europe and avoid any of that nonsense uh, that we typically do. We just don't need to. Uh, I feel like this, this is where the war's at. This is where we're going to win it. Uh, there's no reason to do it. It's just a waste of manpower and equipment. Ooh, that was a nice uh, battle right there. All right, yeah, our planes are just wreaking havoc on them. We're taking very heavy uh, casualties plane-wise, though. Our planes are, ooh, they're having a rough time of it. Uh, what's this? Uh, Russia wants to join the war. Are you ready, Russia? Are you? I don't know that you are. You have 29 uh, troops, 19 ships. No, no, you're not ready yet. You don't even have close enough troops to defend all that territory you have. Sorry. Decline. Um, we also have... Some resource situations we need to deal with here. Uh, we're actually getting a little bit too much oil. Uh, let's just bring it down. Hmm. All right. Well, we can't. Could we? Could we though? Maybe. No, no, no. All right. Let's just stop trading with. God. I don't really want to stop trading with Iraq and Iran because I don't really want to trade with Russia. If I can avoid it. So we need eight more. Can we get that from anywhere else? I think we probably could, guys. We'll just deal with that another in another manner. Uh, and let's stop trading with them if we can. We can. Excellent. Uh, Tungsten-wise, um, I'm surprised we're still having trouble getting stuff from, from them. All right. I'll just take this up then. And in fact, I think we'll have extras now. All right. Well, let's go ahead and reduce our trading with Norway then. All right. That's looking good. Somebody's car uh, horn is honking in the background. Uh, so we're in October. Uh, we are going to get a... And I almost want to attack them because they're just going to join the Allies any goddamn way because they feel threatened, just like Denmark. So I don't want to have another situation like what happened last time. Oh, they actually landed here, surprisingly enough. All right, well, that's fine. We'll push them back into the sea. I'm surprised they were able to successfully land there, but whatever. Uh, we'll get them destroyed here. I do want to pay attention, though, make sure that nobody else lands. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to have the Blue Army do it because the Blue Army is awesome like that. And let's just give them... 
Oh, well, I don't know if they'll be able to do it on a whole massive front like this. We'll have to see. That's a much larger front than I was expecting it to be. Um, yeah, they could have some issues. Let's take a look. Yeah, nothing they can get there. Let's have the yellow army. I know the blue army is technically closer, and they could do it faster. But I want them to start working on their planning bonus, because I think we're about to be attacking them very, very soon. I wasn't going to attack the Netherlands, um, but I'm like, I, I know that they're going to join the Allies anyway, and it's going to be at an inner-opportune moment. So might as well... Uh, I wasn't going to, but Denmark taught me a lesson, is what I'm trying to say. Denmark made me realize that I can't trust them. I can't trust them at all. Uh, and is there anything I need to be aware of? Oh, we can now annex Luxembourg. Okay, so we could attack Luxembourg as well. Let's, um, does that expire? I don't think it does. Alright, so we'll just do it and we'll do it later. It's fine. Yeah, that's the one we got the national focus is so those that don't expire. Let's take a look at their Navy, 132 to 149 ships. Uh, France, 32 ships. They are not doing well. Uh, oh, and our air experience has probably been ticked up forever, guys. My bad. I didn't even fucking see that. Oh, Lord. Yeah, we could have been could have been getting better planes. All right. I'm not going to do fighters, actually. No, no, no. I, I'm tempted to, but we're about to get new fighters, so that doesn't make a whole lot of sense. Let's do naval bombers instead. Uh, and we do have a stockpile of naval bombers so that we can get assigned. Uh, so let's go and upgrade these guys. And we're going to just go all the way across the board here, like so. That looks good. Let's create that variant. Uh, and decommission the old ones. Where are they? Here we go. There we go. All right, so that'll be helpful. Uh, and yes, the oil situation. Um, what we're gonna do is let's just go ahead and build up a synthetic refinery on some of these 100% locations that we have. I know we have quite a few 100% locations, so there's 90, it's not bad. It's another 80 right there. Uh, and there's 100 as well. All right, so let's build those up. That should help fix the oil and rubber situation. Yeah, they're doing a, a ton of bombing, apparently. Let's just take a look and see how the air situation... Yeah, we still don't have enough planes here uh, to do the job. Uh, let's just take a look at our stockpiles. Um, yeah, we're short on fighters. Uh, close air support's looking okay now. Uh, naval bombers is still... Uh, we got a surplus of that, so we're going to want to get these changed up a little bit. Sunk another carrier there. Um, but yeah, we're going to go ahead and end the episode here, guys. That's, that's it. We got, you know, uh, some stuff done. We got Denmark uh, destroyed. Uh, Netherlands will be next. Uh, we're also going to be attacking Spain. It's going to be a tough, tough fight, guys. Oh, God, yeah, that's going to be a tough fight. Uh, into the mountains like this. Uh, yeah, we're going to have to have planes, guys. Oh, another another invasion over here. All right, so a lot of invasions. Oh, this got dealt with as well already, without our help. Okay, <laughs> they didn't need us. Let's go ahead and bring these ones over here then. Oops. God damn it. <laughs> Fuck. Stop it. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. All right, let's, uh, I wanted you to be assigned it's right there. There we go. All right, so we'll get them over there just in case we need them. Uh, they're they're having success with their invasions against our, our kind of sh our shitty garrison troops. They're not they're not very good, uh, so that's the reason why they've been having some success there. Uh, also, it seems that the garrison is not assigned to every place that they need to be. There's a little spot here that they could be assigned to. It's going to get that fixed. Um, I think that's it. Yeah, we have these guys garrisoning in that area. Yeah, I think that works out nicely. There wasn't even anything for them to garrison there. Well, there's that port right there. Okay, looking good. Um, slowly getting the allied fleet destroyed, guys. We're looking really, really good on that. Uh, 131 to 148 chips. That's that's not a lot. Uh, we'll have control of the seas in no time. Uh, our fleet's looking pretty good as well. We now have 66 ships. Uh, I think we'll we'll get there very, very soon. Just taking a look at the current situation. We've lost 34,000 casualties. That's it. Uh, Italy's 1.59 million. Afghanistan's 55,000. But uh, United Kingdom's lost 555,000. Way more than most of us, with the exception of Italy. Uh, France, where's France at? 562,000. Italy's lost an insane number of casualties. I almost guarantee you that the majority of those were lost in the sea. Uh, I bet. I would not be shocked. If they uh, have just been sending them out in the Mediterranean and getting all their, their uh, convoy sunk, that's always what Italy does. They're supposed to be fixed not to do that. Uh, so they don't send uh, troops out there unless they have control of the sea. But... It, it hasn't been fixed. They still do it all the goddamn time. Just kind of scrolling through here and seeing what all we sunk. We sunk a lot of stuff. A lot of little ships, mostly. Um, and, and, and some convoys as well. It looks like we're losing convoys, actually. Yeah, we're losing a ton of convoys. All right. Um, so, so yeah, the situation is looking pretty good, guys. I think we'll be there in no time. Uh, as, as far as, like, just looking at their, their, their current plane situation, we still vastly outnumber them. Um, as far as how many planes they have, I'm sure they have an insane number of planes still. Yeah, uh, they have more than us, it seems. Uh, and then France, of course, has has planes as well. 
Uh, how many planes does Italy have? Are they helping us at all? They have 5,000, about as much as France does. Uh, and we have some of our troops done training over here. I never, I forgot to tell that guy to stop training, but that's okay. Uh, let's put them over here. All right, excellent. Let's go ahead and end the episode here, guys. I hope that you have enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you leave that like, subscribe to the channel, uh, hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of our content. Maybe go check out some of the other content we put up over the last couple days. Might be able to find something that you like. Uh, and as I said, with this campaign, pretty much the goal here is to get the United Kingdom knocked out as soon as possible. Uh, that's why I'm just focusing on that. We'll go ahead and fight Spain too, though, just because uh, they're communists. Why not? We'll attack them. Um, but I'm really, really hoping we can keep the Americans out of the conflict. They're, yeah, they already got the Prussian menace. Yeah, they're going to attack us. There's not going to be any way around this. The Americans are going to come into the conflict. It's a goddamn shame. Got the walkie-talkie in Canada. Uh, just going to scroll through all the countries and see what they're working on. Australia is currently doing squash the squander bugs. Uh, got some volunteers, expanding railways, investing into shipbuilding in China, Crips Mission, South Africa, work for all poor. Italy is currently, I guess they finished their national focus tree because they got the old national focus tree, so it doesn't take them very long to get through that. Um, air production in France. Is there anybody else we need to look at? I guess we can look at Austria Hungary. They're also doing air production. Uh, the Czechs are doing doctrine discoveries too. And Russia is working on claiming the Straits. Hold up, which, which, which one's this? Ugh, all right. <laughs> uh, Russia wants to start some shit with Turkey. Obviously, they don't even have a border with Turkey anymore. I don't know why they're even going for that any longer. Uh, it doesn't make any goddamn sense. I feel like there's somebody that I want to check that I'm forgetting, but I don't know who the hell it is. Uh, yeah, we're going to go ahead and end the episode here. And uh, thanks for watching.